Hey up, George. You okay? Ah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I just want to ring you and let you know I'm leaving now. All right, I'm. Yeah, no worries. Have fun. Whatever it is you're doing, you're still not going to tell me what it is you're actually getting up to. Nope. Nothing to do with you. Told you that before. Nothing to do with you. <laughs> all right then. Right. Well, I'm just pulling into um, Keith's yard now. I'm about to drop the baler off and then head up to the uh, dealership to pick up the muck spreader. Uh, all right then. Well, I've fun and like I said, if you get a chance, make sure we do some of our muck. Uh, I'll try, mate. I'll try. If, it, if we've got it for a day, I'll shift all the muck he's got and then see how much time I've got left. I do want to move them bales out the field as well now they're all wrapped. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, that reminds me, George. Before you go, I probably need to maybe lease out. Oh, lease out? What are you on about? Leasing out? Oh, God. Cost me more money. No, hear me out. Hear me out, George. We've only got a bale spike and a pallet fork. We need... Probably a, a bale grab, something that's not going to damage them rat bales. It won't cost too much to lease that out for a, a day or two. Are you alright if when I go up the dealership and mention it to them? Ah, oh, go on then. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah, makes sense after all. Saves me buying tape. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Saves you buying tape. Right, well, have fun, and uh, I'll see you when you get back. Alright then. Uh, make sure you don't drive that forward. Yep, don't worry, George. I'll definitely drive the Ford. Uh, pointless, absolutely pointless. Right, see you in a bit. See you in a bit, George. Right, well, George is off away for a weekend. I haven't got a clue what he's doing. Really haven't got a clue. He wouldn't tell me, so... I'm just going to have to use our imagination for what George is getting up to. Let's just park this up. And we'll unhitch, and then I'll go and tell Keith. In fact, I might just drive straight down. I know it's all sorted out, so we may as well. We can even give him a bell along the way. Try and get a bit more. Try and be a bit productive here. Because I'm hoping if we get the bail grab, we might have to do two trips up to the dealership, and maybe a third to drop it off. So, yeah, maybe up and down today, definitely. Like I do want to get them bales in the field, definitely, because I want to. The problem is, he wants me spread muck, but I've got to bring the bales in before I can even think about doing that. So, even if I just move the bales out of the small field and then spread muck in that one, that should be good enough. I'm hoping anyway. But like I said, I need a bale grab. So we'll get up to the dealership. We'll grab ourselves the muck spreader. Get down to Keith's. Get all his muck shifted. I've sorted out the feed with the cows. We don't have to worry about that on the farm. And then we can get back, hopefully, with enough time to move the bales out of the small field. Do ourselves a bit of a... Well, at least a couple of loads. Try and shift as much as possible. And then, if we do get a chance... We'll go do. We'll go move the bales out the big field then. It's going to be a busy day, but I'm hoping to get as much done as possible. And it's going to be strange not having George around. And I know he said don't use the Ford, but I guarantee you, I'm going to hook that up to the bale trailer. It's not often I get a chance to drive that, so I may as well take my chance while I've got it. It's a little bit cloudy today. Let's hope the sun comes out later. Right, well. George did tell me they have two outside, and I didn't notice them, but now, now that he's mentioned it, I have seen these here before, so I'm hoping that this is it. But let's go speak to them. I'll mention about a bail grab, and hopefully, they can have that waiting for me. do the job right, let's get hooked up to this so this is the muck spreader the muck master m8 and it's massive the massive should pull this now the only thing i was told was clean it before you bring it back 
So we're going to make sure we do that. Um, I think we should be alright with that, I think. He did say it will pull it, so... Yeah, let's give it a go. Beast of a thing, isn't it, really? Much better than the muck spreader we've got. I doubt George will ever buy one like this. And again, it might just be easier to lease him out. Right, off we go. So I did speak to the guy at the dealership about leasing out a bail grab, and they've got one ready for me, so just said, come back when you need it, and it was actually a pretty decent price, so I think George will be happy. And again, it's gone on his tab anyway, not mine. So uh, George will be paying for it, not me. Look at the size of them tyres. Massive. I guess they need be when this is full up. Right, let's head down there then and get this sorted. We can make a good start to this. It's only 9 o'clock. Let's hope the sun comes out as well a bit later on. It's a bit grim. Is that the pal then? Alright, yep. Alright, pal. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so this pile, you want it all going? Alright then. Right, well, this field behind me, yeah? Alright. And then your other field over there. Okay, um, right. Just let me get this straight, just so I've got this right for you, okay? You want me to shift all this muck here, in the grass field here, and then the one just behind your field, that's it, yeah? All the muck gone. Uh, yep, uh, yep. Okay, right. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll start. Am I going to be able to pick it up with this? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I think it'll reach. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, okay, um, yeah. Right, I best crack on. See you in a bit, Keith. I'll 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 crack on with it now. My God. Anyone get that? Anyone at all? At least I know where I'm doing. He's, I know where his fields are, but we've just got to fill this up from here. And uh, yeah, pretty much shift the muck. I didn't expect this. There's a pile and half here. It's massive. Oh well. It is what it is. Oh me now, fire. I'm just hoping this will reach in, to be honest. Because there's only one way to find out. It should do, I'm hoping. That's about as far as we can go. There we go. Just about, eh? <laughs> You wouldn't want it to drop on your head, would you? I feel like I'm going to get muck on my head here, doing this. Hopefully three or four bucket loads will sort this out. Fingers crossed, anyway. At least it's got good turning. I always get the mucky jobs, don't I? As soon as... George goes away, I get a job like this. I'm just afraid this muck's going to land on my head. There we go. Right, well, I'll fill her up and then we'll get out in the field. <laughs> right, we're full up. I'm taking a bit of a dent out of that pile, but it just made me realise how big a job this is. There's a lot of mucks to shift, but we'll get through it. We will. It'll quickly spread out in the field, so... Right, let me just see that I've done that. There we go. So, what we'll do is we'll go around the edge a bit first, just to get a bit of a understanding of how much muck comes out and what width. I imagine it's not as wide as I think it is. That should be about right. When it's full up, the mass here is a bit sluggish. So we'll just have to hope that this is doing it right. Fingers crossed, it is. 
we're going downhill now, we're alright. Just hope we can stop at the bottom. It's going down. We'll have to have a quick look when we're done, just to see how this has gone on. First time I've ever used a muck spreader like this, so I'm hoping it's working. You can see some that we've dropped here. Oh, she doesn't want to get up the hill, does she? Yeah, this is going to struggle. Come on. We might have to go across the field. And uh, not do this like this again. I think that's the best bet. Ah, but so far so good. Look at that. You can see it on the ground. It's spreading quite nice. I she was rolling back then. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's not too bad. But it's a lot of muck to shift. This is. I hope his field's bigger on the other side. Anyway, I'll crack on with this, and I'll get as much shifted as the fields allow me. And hopefully by the end well, I've got rid of most of it I think it's crossed anyway it's got to be worth him leasing out ah, that's not too bad is it Keith I know if you can see over here I'll show you how much I got rid of Oh, uh, 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 uh. Ah, so you can see that I couldn't get rid of it all, but I got rid of most of it. Right, well, I'm going to take it back, Keith, but first, I'm probably going to try and use it, right? Do a couple, maybe, loads on our fields, if that's all right with you. Right, but I'll uh, I'll make sure I've, I'll take it back, yeah? Before the end of the day. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, right. Well, I'm off, Keith. Um, I'll let you sort the rest out with George and everything. Uh, yep, yep. See you in a bit, mate. Right. Well, we spread in both his fields, and that's pretty much all the muck I could shift in both of them. So, what we need to do now is just head back to our farm. I'm going to drop this off, and then we're going to head out to uh, the dealership with the with the, uh, the Merlot, and we're going to pick up the bale grab, and then we can start moving them bales out of the small field, at least to just get a load done, even if it's just the one load. I'll try to do two, but it's going to be difficult to probably fit two loads on that small field. I think we're only going to have one, enough for one load on that, and I'm not going to have enough time to shift all them bales from the big field. So we're probably going to have to use our muck spreader by that time. But, yeah, I mean, it's quarter past 11 now. So we really do need to make a start, because I've got to shift them bales. I've got to shift them all by the end of the day. I'll probably go, be going into the evening again. Ah, the dealership are brilliant, aren't they? As soon as you need something like that, they have it all ready. And it's decent enough, this is. It won't do any damage to the bales. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that we can fit quite a few on this trailer, just to the right of me now. So, plan is to get these bales, move them out of the way. I'll show you where George decided to put them. So he's tasked me with that. I have tried to clean up the yard as well, so I'm hoping I've done a good enough job of that. Um, but I will quickly just show you. So I'll put some bits and bobs away. All the tractors are away. And it's obviously a bit clearer now. But we're going to be taking something out. George is probably not going to be happy about this. But, you know, if he's not here, he can't do nothing about it. I'm going to get the Ford out. It's been way too long anyway since we've driven this. So I think it needs a good run out. We're doing him a favour. That's how I see it. But this is going to be hauling the trailer and then we can pick up the bales with the Merlot I am going to make a start as well hopefully after we do some spreading in this field I'm going to make a start on the big field but that's probably going to take me quite some time but if 
we can get them all parked away by the time George comes back from his weekend break and I'll be happy so let's move this out of the way first and then we'll bring that down in the field I can actually try to pick up a bale it should work alright I mean this is the type of grab you need when you've got some wrap bales it just means it's not going to do any damage so let's try this out Not straightforward enough, isn't it? There we go. That's how it's done. Look at that. We can probably go a little bit forward with that, but that's fine with me. Let's quickly just run over here and grab the trailer and we'll start loading these away. I have parked the, the muck spreader as well by the pit. We're going to fill up hopefully all of that and shift it. Hopefully, anyway. I'm only going to be able to do this one field, but it yeah, should be alright. Probably need to move that mower a bit back as well. I'll do the field of world of good because I think we've probably cut this now maybe twice and we haven't really put much furt on it, so it's a good idea. Got plenty of room in that muck pit. I knew this trailer would come in handy when I bought it. This is actually something I purchased. So this in the Leyland is all I pretty much own. But that's all we need. I think it's alright that, yeah. Spot on. Where's George when you need him? I mean, he'd love to watch this. Show him that I'm actually doing something right for once. He's always giving me grief, but I think he'd give me a bit of credit for this. So I'm only going to move seven bales right now. There we go, that's the first one done. Not as easy as it looks, especially on this hill bit, but we're doing alright so far. I'm going to have to knock a few bales over because they kind of tipped up just because the angle I was taking them on. It's better from taking them from the bottom of the hill facing up than it is any other way. But at least we're not damaging the bales. That's the last thing we want to do. Ah, oh, there we go, that's all seven done. Strapped them on. So now let's just go take them up here, and I'll show you exactly where George has said. We'll try and fit 41 bales. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. Personally, I don't know if we're going to fit 41 bales here, but this is what he said. Yeah, this is going to be tricky to... Uh, unload with but we'll, we'll figure that out in a second I'll reverse it back because then at least we can come from the other angle and down that track there and then we can put the bales away that way I think that's probably the best bet there we go it's not an easy job this isn't uh, but let me just show you quickly where he wanted to to put them so he was telling me to put them here. This is where George says the bales should go, which I guess is not too bad of an idea if we can fit some there. They are quite short on space when you think about it. So we'll leave that there. We're going to do some muck spreading now. We're going to shift the load before we have to take it back. So let's bring the mill up here. We'll switch to the bucket. And then when all that's done, we can actually head out and pick up the other bales. Just gone after one, so we're doing all right. They 
just seems like there's never enough hours in a day. I do think that uh, we should be able to shift this much. There's not as much as what um, Keith had. Keith had a lot more than this. So I think this might just last us out, you know. Perfect amount for this field. straightforward enough it's a lot easier with this I hope no I hope no doesn't like the weight does it just about <laughs> handbrake's on as well on that not a good sign Let's see if we can tighten it up a bit I mean, it is a tight yard, and this Merlot is proving itself. I'm going to have to tell George about this, because this is perfect. Look how easy it works in this area, even though... Yeah, even though it's a quite a tight area, and a tight spot. Load all struggle at this, so maybe we've seen the true value of this Merlot. I'll make sure to tell George, definitely. I don't like how it's moving down that hill though. That is quite worrying. Anyway, let's quickly get in before it, before it drives off down the hill. Now this field, I really do think it needs this. So this is going to do the world of good. So, let's unfold it. You can just about tell that it's done that. Well, let's turn her on and off we go see it in the mirror happy days so I'm actually doing pretty well today like I said it's not that late in the in the afternoon I'm already starting to spread some muck so I think we should have plenty of time left to go up to the big field after dropping this off and obviously picking up the bales I do need to take them seven off first so I will make sure I do that before I go and take this back then after that, like I said, we've got all, all the afternoon, probably a bit of the evening, and I'll, I'll call it a day after that. I think we've done enough. George would be proud if he was here. I've actually got some stuff done. He can't tell me I'm faffing about now. Right, there we go. That is all our muck shifted. I did it. I got it done. And I thought, why not put it on this field? I think it will benefit us a lot when we're actually planting in this. So, yeah. Put the muck on here. <laughs> this needs a clean now before we send it back. But the muck pile is empty. So George will be happy when he sees that. I do think we've done a good job and George will definitely be pleased when he sees it. So let's give this a quick clean on the yard and then we'll head up to the dealership go send this back we do need to keep the we do need to keep the bale grab but we'll uh, have to take that back maybe tomorrow I have also put the bales away so that's one job done pretty busy today it's difficult to find the time to obviously keep recording but it's important that I do that as well. So yeah, as you can tell, this field is now all sorted out. Spread muck all over it. This is the only muck that we've got now on the farm, which is pretty much our overflow area. There's no point in uh, using that up just for the tiny bit of the big field. We may as well send it back now. And as you can see, oh, hardly any left. So it's good news. And I'm all ready to go down to the field. I just need to drop this back off so give it a bit of a clean first and then yeah we'll uh, head out to the big field right we're finally heading off to the big field to pick up some bales I don't know how many we're going to get done it is now getting close to 5 o'clock and obviously the sun does drop a little bit earlier nowadays 
but we will try our best. Cleaning that off and dropping it off at the store did take a little bit of time, but hey ho, it is what it is. Let's just see what we can get through. Fingers crossed we can at least get one load done, because we're going to have to probably keep the, the bale wrapper for another day. Maybe two, depends. I've got to unload them all as well. There was 41 bales and we've done seven. So there's a few left. Ah well, we'll get it done. Even if I have to do some of it, like I said, tomorrow. But it'll definitely get done. I hope this gate's open. I hope it looks like Tony's out in his field. Looks like he's starting the harvest and he's doing it quite late on. He was waiting for it to dry out a little bit. Oh well, might be nice to see as we pick up the bales. I hope. Who's ringing me now? Yeah, it's George. I wonder what he wants. Hey up, George. You alright? Alright, I'm alright. You? Yeah, I'm good. Just pulling up into the, uh, the large grass field to pick up some bales. Oh, well, that's good then. Did you? End up spreading them up. I did. Hey, up now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's wrong? Are you driving my tractor? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Well, I know you are. I can hear it. Yeah, I am. I am. Wait a minute, Alscroft. I thought you would. What are you doing with it? I've just got trailer on the back. Bale trailer. I'm using it to uh, haul the bales. Oh, well. Fair play. Gives it a run out, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Hey, you wouldn't guess what? What? Tony's out in the field by us harvesting. Oh, is he? I don't give it. Hey, no, Jesus. <laughs> well, I thought I'd let you know anyway. I thought you'd like that. I'm not bothered. I don't know why you have to tell me things are. Well, I won't tell you again. I've got to walk back now anyway. Get the Merlot. I don't envy you then. No. It ain't too far, I've done it before. I've got to go pick up these bales before the end of the day. At least at least a load. It's been a long day. Oh, what did you get done in the end? Well, I went up to the store, obviously picked up the muck spreader. I um did about three loads, it was a lot though, I'm telling you now, he had a lot, Keith did. <laughs> he always does. Yeah, well, I did about three or four loads with that and uh, shifted it on two of his grass fields, the one that I was mowing and another one that's bigger behind the field. So yeah, like I said, there was two fields, so I sorted that out. Oh, man, help, mate. What's that noise? It's an harvester on the other side of this edge. It's Tony. Oh, tell him shut up. <laughs> I can't do that, can I? I'm the one walking back to the farm. Well, it's bloody loud, isn't it? I know, I know. I'll let him go past, I'll stop a second. Oh, well, see so mine is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like I said, I went up to his farm, spread them up, did about three loads, two fields. From there, I went to the dealership, pretty much leased out the uh, the bale grabber, went back to our farm, moved the seven bales out of the grass field, spread all the muck out of our uh, muck heap, and uh, that, I did that on, on the small grass field and also on the half of the field that I've ploughed. Oh, well, that's, that's good done. Yeah, I know. I thought it would be the best thing to do. And then, I'm now, literally, I've dropped, I've dropped the uh, the muck spreader back off at the dealership. I'm now making a start on the big field. So, I don't know how much I'll get done, but I'll try and get at least one load done. Ah, no worries, no worries. Well, anyway, I thought I'd just ring, check in, see how you are. Yeah, I'm alright. How about you? Oh, I'm alright. Yeah, sound. What? Are you having fun? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Good. Are you going to tell me yet what you're doing? I'm, I've told you I'm doing nothing. Nothing. It's not even interesting. Don't worry about it. All right, then. I'd say I'd stop asking, but it'll probably be a lie. I'm going to keep asking you. I know you are. You'll get the same answer. All right, then. Right, well, I'm going to go and get this sorted out and try and pick up some bales before the end of the day. I don't want to be out in the field when it gets dark. Alright, alright, see you in a bit. See you in a bit, George. 
Oh, well, that's that then. George checking in. He can't go few, even a few hours, can he, without knowing what's going on. But everything's working well. I think we've been quite productive. We've done quite a lot. And all we need to do now is, like I said, try and get these bales in and store them away. And within a month's time, at least, they should be fermented ready to add to our feed mixes. I do think that muck in that field is going to do the world a good. I really do. Right, well, I best crack on. I think I'm going to focus on getting this done now. Just because I know there's so much to do. But overall, I think, with it just being us on the farm, George away, I think it's been a really productive day. Done quite a bit. We've earned a few bob from Keith. Doing him a favour. We've also shifted all our muck. And now we're picking in all them grass silage bales. So overall, not too bad. But, like I said, I'm going to crack on. Plenty to do. Mm -hmm. 